everyone welcome to my youtube channel again in this series we'll learn how can we implement uh, push notification in react native application so without waste any time let's start i had created a fresh project for uh, push notification so let's uh, jump to firebase also like before start i want to share one more thing like I had write blog uh, on medium.com uh, for implement push notification using uh, Firebase. So you can I'll uh, share link in the description. So just follow me on uh, medium.com. So just uh, jump to Firebase console and first of all uh, create a project. And here I have to give name to project. Let's uh, I'm gonna use uh, Notif. And by default. Uh, uh, it provide option enable google analytic for this project so i'm gonna use uh, default account for firebase for this let's create project so it will take few seconds so first of all uh, after that we need uh, our package name so just uh, grab that so this is our package name for project copy this one since it take time let's uh, speak about my blog uh, till it's taking time to create the project there you can see uh, i had pasted all of the snapshots so you that can uh, so that you can get a clear view uh, to implement uh, notification in your project like how can you uh, go to firebase uh, how to add project and uh, how to uh, go with all of uh, these steps so uh, since our project had been completed now and uh, it will take uh, some time to load and uh, if you are uh, using good internet connectivity then uh, it will load uh, very fast so after uh, complete created the project you guys just need to click on Android and there you need to pass your package name uh, you can add any nickname to your project if you want it's, but it's an optional so just to register your app it will take some time and after this you, you guys just need to download uh, Google service JSON and you have to just paste it inside Android and inside Android you will get a folder called app so you have to paste it here and the next thing download this file and paste it here we had to jump to next step then uh, we had to work with the uh, add firebase sdk to in project so as it's saying inside project level build.gradle let's uh, jump on uh, build.gradle at project level this one inside android you will get build.gradle first of all you need to check whether uh, there is google inside it here google method inside repository uh, if not there then please paste it and uh, after that inside dependency you had to paste uh, google gms service uh, copy this line and paste it here then after inside all repositories you need to check here uh, google Mem memory repository now uh, for the next step it's it's saying like you have to move app level build out cradle means inside android you will get a folder app and inside app you will uh, get another folder build.gradle so you, you need to move app level build.gradle file and inside it uh, you need to add the google gms service here as well so copy this line and you just need to paste it here just com.android application uh, just below this then you need to move to dependency and add uh, google firebase uh, analytics so copy this line and paste it inside dependencies i had to uh, do all of the uh, things already because uh, when i uh, record live video it, it is gonna take uh, some time uh, of, to create uh, uh, the new setup for project so uh, that's why uh, video becomes some boring like uh, it's taking time so that's uh, that's why i had done already all of things so after i uh, complete all of this you guys just need to copy uh, open your project in Android Studio and just uh, sync the Gradle. So when you click on uh, this elephant symbol, uh, 
uh, your cradle will sink successfully after your cradle successfully sink uh, you just need to click on next button and after click on next button you guys just need to npm run android it's gonna reinstall the application in uh, your android device and after reinstall application it will uh, communicate to firebase server so i had done all of things already so let me go to push notification here so inside it i had uh, done all of uh, things already so uh, if I run npm run android you gonna reinstall application so let's jump to the block and see the further process so uh, after complete the project here uh, it's saying like we need to install react native firebase for further use so uh, you can follow the command here npm i react dash native hyphen uh, firebase so just uh, enter this i had already uh, installed uh, the package so you guys just need to install this then it's saying for further con configuration like uh, uh, i have to move uh, main application dot uh, java and here I need to import all of the packages like uh, RN Firebase notification, uh, remote config, or Firebase link, or Firebase messaging, whichever service I, I want to use. So inside Android app folder and uh, inside SRC main Java, so uh, I can find main application dot Java, and simply what I need to do, add all of these packages. So just copy all of uh, these here and just paste it out here that's all and the next thing what I need to do like after uh, import all of these packages here I need to add them uh, here there you can uh, by default you will get a line like packages that can't uh, be auto linked yet can be added manually here for example like this so uh, just move the block and uh, you guys just need to copy all of uh, these packages dot add and inside it you have to add all of these packages now uh, it's saying like uh, you have to move app uh, slash build dot cradle and add the following dependencies for firebase so uh, there I had all of uh, the dependencies here like you guys just need to copy all of these and just paste it inside the dependency but uh, do one more thing like I don't know uh, why this is happening like if I copy one line from uh, the blog uh, I don't know like uh, when I write the code here why uh, it's uh, uh, like first one is uh, the uh, the last one is a reversal first one so uh, you just need to change uh, the style of code uh, like use uh, as we using uh, in the programming like single code or double code as you can see there we have the uh, codes in proper way so uh, you have to just modify this so uh, just copy all of these and paste it here and now do one more thing as you can see for uh, firebase analytic we have a version 17 so i had just changed it to 15.0.0 and it is compatible to all of uh, this version also uh, i had at uh, the m leoin shortcut buzzer like uh, if you see on the android icon whenever you're gonna use uh, notification we receive any notification and if notification is un unread then you will get uh, the numbers uh, displaying on the pass on the application so it provide that so that's all uh, we had done now uh, make sure we have class path uh, gms google service inside uh, android build.gradle app level build.gradle that we had added already and let me recheck it once yeah we had all of things there so uh, let's uh, 
go to the project so uh, before uh, run the project like after complete all of this setup make sure uh, npmi once more like uh, if any dependency is missing and after that please sync gradle once again like it's saying uh, So I'm, I'm, I think I'm getting some error. Gradle DSL method not found implementation. It's saying me that. Let me check it out. Oops, I, I think I had uh, pasted them uh, two times. Just cut it here. Save this. That's why it's. Uh, it will take a few seconds to sync the Gradle. That's all. Now uh, we need to run Android. npm uh, run. Uh, let me reinstall application first. Where is it? So. Now till uh, move to Firebase and uh, let's see how can we uh, send messages. So inside Firebase, you guys uh, just go to the Grow tag and inside the Grow tab, I need to select Cloud Messaging. I had to really app here. Will take some time. I think. Our project has been run successfully, and if you want to. Uh, like if you want to receive notification on emulator so what you need to do you just uh, go to the settings and inside settings I have to uh, go to sound and notification and inside it not app notification or uh, or you can uh, do one thing like that will be shortcut to you just uh, click on uh, drag your app to the app info and uh, there you can see uh, it's I haven't uh, uh, give it any permission so why it's not allowing notification allow picking treat push notification also I think I had uh, already permission for uh, notifications so please uh, make sure uh, you have notification permission to your application let me see yeah I have uh, notification permission for our application so uh, Our app uh, is uh, now in background state and if I jump to the Firebase and uh, send your first message and there I'm going to use uh, the test and the test here and after that I need to s select the target so 
so for target i'm gonna send notification to home dot push notification you can schedule notification and just review this and publish let's see so from this side notification has been sent successfully there you can see uh, there are some older notification I had received but uh, let me do one more notification home dot push notification review this and publish Here you can see I had received notification STST at 11:21 p.m. So uh, you will able to receive notification like uh, if your app is in minimized state. Cause I have uh, uh, write function like whenever our application is running uh, to receive the notification. Let me uh, create one more notification. Let give a test to and for notification text I'm going to use text to as well so both title and notification text is text to and I'm going to use uh, the target to home dot push notification review this and for uh, I'm scheduling it sent now it has been sent successfully from there and if I see I had received notification here so that's all for this video in next video uh, we'll see how can we use notification when our application is running like uh, whenever I, our application is running at foreground so notification should display over the application so we'll implement this in next video so thanks for this video and if you enjoyed this video please uh, give a big thumbs up and if you are new please subscribe my channel